40-15, unretainable serve from Sinner. Two match points. Let's focus on the world number one in the men's game right now. He's going to try and close this out. He's obviously doing a lot better in his previous service game, but overhits the first serve. He was keen on trying to get this done quick. Short second serve. Rublev gets the ball in. Forehand from center up the line, up the middle. Um, backhand from center cross court. Backhand Rublev. Again, the wind's playing a bit of havoc here. Sh shortens Sinner's ball there. So he's really hitting to the wind, I think. Backhand, forehand again from Rublev. Uh, Sinner again. Rublev kind of picks it up short from Sinner. Oh! Wind catches the ball, makes it bounce weird. Bounces to the side. Rublev loses balance. And, well, it was a bit of a messy way to end a messy match. But Yannick Sinner is into the Cincinnati semi-finals, And it's pretty good nature to the net. Um, but, yeah, I feel like that was probably the best way of summing it up, Vanch. Yeah, good job on the final point there. I will say, um, you know, Sinner, those six games that he won from 4-5 in the second set um, to 3-love, that was really big. That really kind of carried him through to the finish uh, we did see him elevate his level during that stretch, and also Rublev got a little frustrated. Uh, the wind was also playing a big factor as well. Sinner was playing a little bit smarter in that in, in those conditions. Um, and yeah, overall he comes through, but uh, it wasn't easy. You know, five one, and then back to five four, and it was um, definitely not a super memorable match for their quality. But um, Sinner does get the revenge. He is in the semi-finals, and he does play the winner of Shelton and Zverev. Who we said earlier, like, Zverev is someone he has a difficult matchup with anyway. Yeah, um, it would be interesting to see them play because they haven't played since the US Open uh, match. And, like, that's the one player that I don't I haven't seen Sinner play against. Like, one top player uh, in this sort of new world number one phase of Sinner. So, I'd be interested to see that, uh, if it does happen. But, of course, Shelton, you know, I'd, uh, he'd have the whole crowd behind him. He, he's in with a shot, for sure. Yeah, I think it's going to depend on if Sinner... If Sinner's return is better than it was today against Rublev, who has a good serve, but it's not as big as Shelton's, oh. then it's a different story. Mm -hmm. I think if Sinner's return game is off, he might struggle with Shelton. Yeah, they, they've had a few tight battles. Um, I think at Bumbledon, oh, they yeah, had one chance set. Okay, um, Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai obviously is uh, Shelton won in a third set tie break. That was after I think uh, Center coming off of that win in Beijing, and then but then he got him the next week in Vienna seven six seven five, and then he also got him in Indian Wells earlier this year one tight set, then one tight set at Wimbledon. So um, I don't know, just because that'll be so much more serve and return based, I still like Center if they if they end up playing. Um, mm -hmm. But if it is very, I mean, there's going to be a lot more tough questions in terms of like long rallies, physical, and like, uh, you know, obviously the matchup as well. So it will be interesting. Um, I'm, I've got the Fernandez Pagula tie break on, by the way. Um, well. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. Uh, so, but yeah, do, wanna, back um, do we want to stay for the tie break? Can do. Um, okay, let's do it. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. We can talk about Sinner in between. Yeah. Um, but I think it's interesting that certainly the definition of Sinner season from Monte Carlo afterwards onwards is struggling, kind of battling his own body to get as deep in the draw as he possibly can. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he, he's won one title since then. He won Halle. Uh, mm -hmm. on grass and then he won and then he's so he's been still been making semis and quarters he's been good enough to do that but um yeah still hasn't won a big title since miami so he'll be looking to yeah. do that this week big yeah and it's mm -hmm. not been his fault really so i think the semi-final whoever he plays is going to be absolutely critical although the final's not going to be a cakewalk either whether he plays her catch tiafo draper or runa um Fernandez is 3-1 up with a mini break in this tie break, by the way. I might switch the score over. Get this up. Uh, yeah, I mean, Nicola is just very frustrated right now. Um, as, of course, she really thought she'd had this match wrapped up and she'd be in the locker room. 
I didn't actually see that stretch from four love to four four. So I, I don't know how much of it was Pagula being off or Fernandez coming up with some brilliance. Yeah. Um, it's it's yeah. No, I'm the same. Not paying super close attention, but there's nothing I'm seeing that's making me lean one way or the other on it. Um. So I guess we'll see. Um. Uh, but yes, yeah, so really cool. from disappointments, and she's one of the better players, I would say, on the WTA doing that. Uh, Pagula's double faulted five one Fernandez. So I would not be shocked if. She manages to find a way to regroup. I would also not be shocked if Fernandez somehow rises out this match because that is a lot of tennis now that Jess has played. And she could, uh, you know, be... Like, a, a loss here wouldn't be too bad. I think that would be... Uh, we still have all the prep she needs. Pagula. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I mean, like, she's got some match wins under her belt. No one likes to lose, though. Um... No, for sure. Uh, because I was trying to work out something I was going to look at was has anyone ever done a, a Canada Cincy double on the women's side? Because we know obviously Raf has done it on the men's. Mm. Has Serena I don't think Serena's done it. No. Okay. Yeah, maybe actually I don't think she has. Because since that's only been about, big, like I don't know Steffi in New York. What was that? About? Sorry, I've talked over you. I'll have to go back to like Steffi maybe. Oh. Steffi or Selish? Steffi, yeah. Steffi probably did. Yeah. Steffi kind of did everything, so I'm probably going to be shocked. Yeah. But again, Cincinnati, Cincinnati, a bit like with Indian Wells, took a while to become a big women's event as well as a men's. Mm, like yeah. Canada was the only pre, for a long time, Canada was the only pre US Open warm up in terms of a thousand level. And unretainable seven Fernandez seals the tie break seven one. That just went. Yeah, that was quick. Um, Fernandez had some good angles there. I mean, Tagula, a couple of points she was disgusted with herself with. And okay, well now it's going to be interesting to see if she can bounce back from this. Yeah, I'm going to be interested. I'm going to put the the deciding set on um, after we finish the stream. Uh, <laughs> Let's wrap up the match we just watched between uh, Sinner and uh, Rublev. Um, thoughts on where Rublev goes from here? Um, still an overall positive outcome from this tournament, even if he couldn't. He kind of, he did kind of fade at a critical moment in the match and didn't really recover. Oh. Um, but still, overall, going deep into hard court tournaments has got to get his confidence back where it needs to be. Yeah, still overall pretty pretty much a uh, positive because still made the finals, still got to the quarters, still got the wins under his belt. I mean, we'll see how he can perform at the U.S. Open and if he can break that quarterfinals. You know, if he if he gets to the quarterfinal, I think that'd still be pretty good. You know, given how his season has gone, so I don't think too much to to the to worry about. Uh, U.S. Open has generally been pretty consistent for Andre. He's usually you know, done pretty well in those conditions in terms of consistently making it to quarters, third round, fourth round. So, yeah, I still, uh, I still think overall positive. Yeah, overall positive for Ribluff, uh, but definitely very positive for Sinner. And now he's going to be sitting back and waiting to see who his opponent is uh, in the next round. Um, but yeah, I think we kind of covered everything today. Vanch, thanks so much for joining me in this. It made this much more fun to follow uh, with you around and talking all kinds of tennis topics. Um, and I hope we get to do this again. Yeah, should be pretty fun. I mean, we got to do a little bit of all three. We did the entire Rublev Center and we did some of, we did very little of Sabalenka, Samson, but just the second set and then also just um, some, of, some of this other women's match. So, yeah, look forward to it and we'll do it again soon. Definitely. I hope we get to do another stream together. And I hope to get a stream together with all of you, Ashley, Dave, Ghosty, uh, yeah. Schwana, Nerlan, if you're still around. Um it's gonna be a good time and I'm and I love it and um I enjoy watching and Jane as well. Um enjoy watching uh tennis with all of you and I hope to see it again. Um 
we've got more streams coming. Hopefully, we'll be uh, um, bringing you more coverage of later matches this event as the third set from Pagula Fernandez gets underway. Um, so maybe join you, um, maybe join you for one of those or a WTA weekly episode. Let's find out. Thanks for everyone watching. In the meantime, take care and keep talking tennis. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.